top five failed assassinations that would have changed history. From Lincoln to JFK and Julius Caesar to Martin Luther King, entire books have been written about famous assassinations and how they changed the course of history. Few people, however, take more than a passing glance at those failed attempts that, had they succeeded, would have transformed history just as much, if not more, than those that were successful. Here is a list of five failed assassination attempts that, had they succeeded, would have had tremendous repercussions to this day. Number 5 Franklin Roosevelt, President-elect of the United States, is at number 5. It's hard to imagine weathering the twin storms presented by the Great Depression and World War II without Roosevelt at the helm. But that was almost the case. It almost happened in February of 1933 when the then president-elect was riding in an open car in Miami, Florida. A crazed Italian immigrant named Giuseppe Zangara fired five shots at him, missing him but managing to hit and kill the mayor of Chicago, Anton Kermack, who had been riding in the car with Roosevelt. Had Zangara succeeded, Vice President John Garner would have been sworn in as the 32nd president and the 30s could well have been very different. Better? Worse? There's no way of knowing what kind of president Garner would have made. But it's hard to see how the more diminutive Garner would have gotten the New Deal, Social Security or Lend-Lease through a hostile Congress. Number 4 Coming in at spot 4 is Abraham Lincoln, the US President. Lincoln's assassination at the hands of actor-turned-southern agitator John Wilkes Booth in 1865 was the stuff of legend as well as an unmitigated disaster for the South. Yet, imagine if an earlier attempt in August of 1864 had succeeded. While not generally known to most people, someone took a shot at the president while he was riding in his carriage around Washington, missing his head by mere inches. Had their aim been just a little better, the great emancipator would have been succeeded by Hannibal Hamlin, which may well have given the upcoming election to Lincoln's overly cautious former commander, General Jock McClellan. Number three. Failed attempt number three was of Vladimir Ilrich Lenin, Russian revolutionary and founder of the USSR. Shortly before he became the undisputed leader of the Soviet Union, Lenin was nearly done in by a female assassin and fellow communist named Fania Kaplan, who got off three shots at the man just as he was about to step into his car. Though seriously injured in the arm and jaw, he recovered and used the attempt on his life to both bolster his popularity as well as instigate a reign of terror against his opponents. This is one of those failed attempts that's difficult to assess whether its success would have been beneficial for Russia or detrimental. In either case, it certainly would have been different. Number 2 The attempt on German Kaiser Wilhelm II makes it to number 2. When an anarchist took a shot at the Kaiser while the king was visiting Bremen, Germany in March of 1901, only mildly injuring the man, few realized just how costly that miss would prove to be. How so? Had the shot found its mark, its possible World War I never would have happened and the course of history, especially in Europe, would have been dramatically altered. Of course, one can't put all the blame for Europe's descent into madness in 1914 on Wilhelm II, but it's entirely possible that a more practical and cool-headed leader might have been able to keep events from spiraling out of control as quickly and completely as they did. Number 1 the details of just how close a band of conspirators headed up by a disfigured army colonel named Klaus von Stauffenberg came to killing Hitler in his Prussian hideout in July of 1944 is the 
stuff of legend and has even been made into a recent movie starring Tom Cruise and is at number 1. But consider what it would have meant to the war in Europe had it succeeded. Clearly the conspirators would have had the upper hand and with the help of key anti-Nazi elements within the army who saw the war as a lost cause at that point might well have succeeded in ousting the Nazis and negotiating a quick surrender to the allies, shortening the war by 10 months and saving millions of lives in the process. With Germany entirely unoccupied by foreign invaders at that point, it would not only have greatly reduced the level of death and destruction that was to be seen over the next few months, but would have undoubtedly altered the political landscape of Europe and likely changed the complexion of the looming Cold War, probably in the Allies' favor. As it was, the bomb that was planted under Hitler's briefing table was a little too far away from the Führer when it went off. dooming germany in the process